Hi all, welcome back. Today I want to do something different. I want to talk about the stamp. What's the story behind it? Stay tuned for this episode of... Today's story is a little bit different. This stamp is brought out from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Now the symbol here is the symbol of a town named Česka Trebova, which is in the which is in the border of Bohemia and Moravia. Now, where did the name Cheska Trebova come from? According to the information sent to me by the webmaster, uh, the name came from the Czech word for Tribeti, which basically means chopped down, because the entire area was covered with forest land, and that had to be chopped down and, and uh, room made for the settlement uh, of Trebova to be established. Now, why Cheska Trubova? It was to differentiate between other, other cities named Trubova in the same area. Now, if we have a look at it, let's investigate it slightly. Is it, what's well, the story? It basically is two stories. Now, the town of, the town of uh, Cheska Trubova uh, is not a new town. It's an ancient town. And basically, it was made up of, of peasants and, um, and simple-minded people and they had a town emblem and one of the peer people in the, in the town was contracted to look after the town emblem and he pleaded he pledged to contract it to guard it with his life one day unfortunately the emblem went missing his wife and the, the poor gentleman looked high and low they searched and searched and searched but they couldn't find the emblem anywhere went to town, town at a town meeting and he told them that he had lost the emblem he couldn't find anywhere and they sentenced him to death that is exactly what he pledged his life to do he lost the town's emblem the only emblem and they decided that that's it off his head in those days it was bad it wasn't off of his head it was a hanging so he was put into jail and it was a waiting trial and he was sitting out of his window watching them actually build the gallows from which they were going to hang him. In the meantime, his wife was at home not knowing what to do. And she saw, looked out the window and she saw a rooster. And the rooster was clutching something in its claw. She went out to look at, the, to look at it and she saw the rooster actually had the town's emblem in his claw. She rescued the town's emblem and quickly ran to the, to, the, to the town hall. I found it! I found it! I found it! And the poor gentleman was released from jail. And as a mark of honour, to honour the rooster, <laughs> I don't know what sort of kind of a mark of honour that was, because he found the, found the emblem, but they made the emblem, the rooster, a part of the town's emblem. That's part one of the story. Now we get to part two. And this is a symbol of, of Europe's dark past. From about 1100, or should we say, and uh, the first crusades, the Catholic Church started persecuting Jews more and more and more. And uh, Jews were not allowed to do many things that were very, that the Nazis took example, examples from them, such as uh, you couldn't buy from Jews, uh, Jews could only work in certain positions, in certain jobs, um, you couldn't marry Jews and many many other things now when the crusade started they started and the kings didn't have any money what did they do they stole from Jews they stole they took back land they sold off the land to get to get their money now the whole question is okay so you've got things against the Jews and in the Nazi times how do you know what a Jew was they had an armband the yellow armband with the Star of David uh, but in those days, they didn't want everyone to walk around and start with an armband. They decided that they were going to wear a, a comical hat. Now you can see a few examples here. Uh, you can see one from the, from Cook Islands. This is actually a picture from the from the circumcision of Jesus. And here you see another one from a fresco. This is stamped from Denmark. And the, also the symbol of the town of the city of Jürgenberg in Austria or Judenberg in Austria also has a comical hat. Uh, apparently, according to the to the city hall in the, in in Judenberg, uh, Judenberg, sorry, this has nothing to do with Jews. Although the town itself is called Jewish City. 
Anyway, let's go back to our story of the day. Now here we can see the comical hat on the stamp. Not only do we see the comical hat on the stamp, but we also see the hooked nose belonging remnants of Jews of Eastern Europe. Is this anti-Semitic? When I approached, when I approached the, the librarian of uh, Cesca Trubova, um, they said to me, no, it's not at all anti-Semitic. In the town in those years, Jews were very respected. They were one of the only people who could read or write. And many people went to them for advice, for help, for reading and writing, to send letters out. And that is actually the way that Jews were uh, Jews dressed, because that is what the Catholic Church had instilled uh, had uh, told them to do, that they had to wear this special dress. So for them, it was a sign of respect. So they took their two signs of respect in their eyes, the rooster and the head of a Jew, and made them into the town emblem. Well, anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me this time. And don't go away. There's lots more where this came from. Bye.